let me get this off here. And you put a little bit of uh, cement on these thread wraps here. Look at that eye looking back up at me. <laughs> Cut that. Now, that fly will catch bass catch trappers, it catch big trout, because it's a pretty much a close imitation of our shad. And uh, in, in the, uh, got a weed guard on it so it can go through, around in the hooks, uh, rides in the hair so it can't be seen. And so it swims through the water and all of this material moves and gives you a lot of action. And that, that's what I, I, I like to do, Kelly, is create, you know, living a life like I see it in the stream uh, when I'm underwater watching stuff, and, and all these things move and, and reflect and what have you, like something's really alive. And so one of my fortes, I guess it's, a, it's an extension of my art, is to be able to do beautiful hair and feather sculptures that look like living creatures to fish with. But of course, we just, you know, affectionately call those flies. One of my most favorite, if not my favorite, bass fly here in Oklahoma is this fly here. And I call it an ex extra ultralight because it's made out of styrofoam. And it suggests a shad. Uh, it's uh, extremely light, so it'll go right over almost any kind of object with this little weed guard. And because of the material I make, made it out of, and the and lightness, it flutters in the water like a dying shad. And I'll tell you, I, 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 hundreds of different Top water flies I've designed, this one seems to be the best that I've ever, ever used. Uh, these trappers and hybrids and whatever, because it looks like a shad, or it acts like a dog shad. So uh, anything that, you know, in our in our state that, uh, that uh, is looking for a meal, eats a shad. So anyway, so that's the one. Another one that for our streams around here, that uh, it just, I think it's, if you only, only almost need only one fly, underwater fly, and it's one that I call a near enough crawfish. And uh, here's a box of them here. And this fly in the water perfectly mimics a crawfish. Uh, it's weighted here, so it sets like this on the bottom. And it swims, stops, swims and stops with the claws up. And it's soft, like a soft shell crawfish. And it has weed guard on it, so it doesn't hang up on the bottom. I really believe in, in putting snag guards or weed guards on all my flies that I'm fishing in and around structure area, whether it's surface structure or whether it's the bottom. But I make it in several colors, uh, what I call kind of a dirty brown. A dirty olive. Remember I was telling you about the colored claw tips? And so, so when that's sitting on the bottom, it's like that teasing, just like a crawfish does and crawls along. And then uh, a lot of times when a crawfish uh, shed their skin and goes soft shells, they get a lot lighter in color, either an orange or a really light tan. So here's that same near enough crawfish uh, in that kind of an orangish shedder color. So between those three colors, uh, in the Illinois and the Barren Fork and the Mountain Fork or any of these streams around here that got a lot of crawfish in them, I don't think you really need another fly but that. Another one that just has been so deadly for me is this fly here. It is a it's an imitation basically of a shiner or a shad, and it floats on the surface, made out of deer hair, got the weed guard and what have you, and a lot of reflection. It's got the shape of, of a minnow but it floats on the surface. When you when you twitch it, it, it makes a bubble, you know, like a popper. But when you make a steady pull, it dives under the water and wiggles. So it acts just like a shad again, it's swimming or what have you. But that's, uh, uh, other than the white one I showed you, this is my second favorite bass fly for Oklahoma. Caught a lot of strappers, a lot of white bass on it. But anyway, that's kind of the way I, I go through these different kinds of uh, flies. As a, I look at a food and kind of see it, uh, how can I imitate that? Almost like a, a sculpture would be trying to imitate it. So 
something, and uh, it's always been really easy to create different flowers.